I had a recent conversation with Noelle Cotaspati. God, I swear I just butchered her name. She's the CEO of Gamma Iota Sigma. If you don't know Noelle, you probably don't know GIS. Definitely butchered her name. So let's get on the same page about GIS. Gamma Iota Sigma is the international risk management, insurance, and actuarial sciences fraternity that looks to promote, engage, and sustain students' interests within those fields. So when I was speaking with Noelle, I definitely butchered her name. I started right in of how can I help out your organization? And I let out with saying, yeah, I know I'm a claims guy, but how can I help these students that are so interested in carrier side underwriting and actuarial jobs? And she stopped me right there. She said that's not their main purpose and that's not their main focus. She said that their purpose is focusing on the entire ecosystem of the insurance industry and risk management, actuarial sciences, but everything under the sun. She did concede that a majority of the students head down the paths of carrier side underwriting and actuarial sciences. But that's mostly who is speaking to these students. Professional folks from the underwriting side and the actuarial side, those are the folks that are going into their local chapters and telling their stories. Obviously, the students are getting jazzed up about those stories, so why can't we do the same thing, all of us from other facets of the industry? I think we can all agree that there's a perception problem within our industry. We've all heard the phrase of stale, pale, and male, right? We know that's not accurate, but perception Perception's reality, and we have to do a better job of changing that perception. That perception's our own fault because we're not telling our story, and I know I've said that before, and I'm going to keep saying that until more and more people are telling their story. And what better audience than the students that are really jazzed up about the industry as a whole? Those of us in the industry, we should be reaching out to the local chapters and telling our stories. And we all have a unique story, and we should be sharing that with the students to get them excited about our little slice of the industry. And we all have a fantastic story to tell. I know I've been guilty in the past of when people asking me what I did, it's, I would say, I'm in insurance. But I've changed that. Now what I'm telling people is, I help people to help people. And that's what I can do as a claims leader. I can help adjusters help those customers get through a very tough situation. And that's what's so fulfilling to me. But if I just told somebody, I'm in insurance, they wouldn't know about that passion. They wouldn't know what a fulfilling career this can be. So I keep standing on this soapbox about asking these claims people to tell your story. You have a fantastic story. I'm telling you, get out there. Let's tell that story. And I know I've said it in a previous video about how your story is unique. Check out that video. I'm not going to beat that drum again. But I want to hear your story. If there's anything I can ever do to help you get that story out, I'm here. Let me know. And I know Amber, I know the other insurance nerds, we want to help you as well because we need to tell this story. It's a fantastic industry and we need to let everybody know that's the case. We do amazing things in this industry and we shouldn't just keep that story to ourselves. Let's get the story out there and get people really excited about the insurance industry as a whole. And again, if I can personally help you out or any of the nerds can help you out, please reach out. JB out.